welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to say hopefully the first video, other than a few little nicks and bruises, was pretty helpful. Um, I'll leave a card for that video for those of you who haven't had a chance to watch that before watching this one. Um, you look at everything right now, it looks like I'm still in the base that we were in earlier. There's a couple of little differences. Um, I'm actually, I've done some stuff here between videos, uh, gathered some stuff. Um, this is actually kind of what I would call a, a forwarding base. It's another base. Uh, if you'll notice here, it's in, on the line here, V10, U10, but it's right next to the outpost, which is something I told y'all guys about, um, about the different things that you can buy and stuff right here and I told you about blueprints I told you about uh, different items that you can learn in the game to be able to craft them um, our actual starter base is right up in this area here um, I may have a chance to show you that before the 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 end of the video probably not but anyways again I'm playing on one of my servers uh, Texas rust uh, wiped three seven I believe 19 uh, no decay uh, so this is a no decay server um, going to this video is going to be more about focusing on trying to get uh, scrap gain that part of it use this little base for this for that purpose right now there's not much in here um, and so we'll uh, we'll get started here real quick so I put a little wooden doors just a little one by two with a little triangle on it and everything um, again, I've got some stone on me. Um, I'll show you guys why I have stone on me here shortly. Um, but we're going to go out here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and plant that. Now, we are in a snow biome, so you need to make sure that your cold protection is pretty high. Uh, if not, you'll lose health and eventually die. Now, the outpost is protected by turrets and scientist so in other words you can't have any kind of weapon or tool other than a rock in your hands or it'll shoot at you uh, you also cannot have killed anybody or any animals within a certain time frame i think it's 15 20 minutes um before going into this area so basically you just don't want to have anything in your hand weapon wise or tools um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go over here first and i'm going to show you a little tip if you watch Sir Winter, some of his videos, um, you'll see in his, a lot of his videos, basically, uh, you know, he 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 uses the uh, outpost to uh, trade stone for wood, which is very effective. Um, that's honestly how I learned how to do it, and how friends of mine learned how to do it. You'll notice down in the bot right, bottom right hand corner too, it also says we're in a safe zone, so. You don't want to shoot or kill anybody or threaten anybody or like I said put a weapon in your hand because then you're on a time limit but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here to one of these shops these are the little scientists they won't mess with you as long as you don't mess with them um, you'll notice also that there is a workbench this is a level one workbench over here and over here so we can craft things here and we're gonna go over here to this uh, I think it's this one we're gonna shop yeah it's this one so you can see right here where they trade they're selling wood they're selling 500 wood for every 150 stone so this is how much stone I have right now so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type like 99 which will automatically send you to what the I guess you could just type 30 because that's the max so it's gonna give us 15,000 wood so we're gonna buy that And you'll notice it put it in fairly decent stacks. Sometimes it'll put it all in one stack. Sometimes it'll build it in bigger stacks. And then sometimes if the system's broke, it'll just put it in a bunch of stacks and you can't carry it all. And then in that case, you're going to be in bad shape. So we've got seven more we can do. So we'll go ahead and buy that. All right, so now we've got a bunch of wood here so we don't have to go farming trees. And since nodes are much easier to farm, that would be great. So I also have burn barrels here uh, where you can get comfort from, get your health back. Um, then also over here, there's more shops. Um, this one, let's see. 
that's a large furnace which helps you cook a large amount of uh, ore in less wood burn um, there's the uh, what I call oil cooker um, these things are they're pretty cheap um, so but that uses you use that to cook crude oil and make uh, uh, fuel out of we'll go to this one this is where you can get some weapons some turrets these are shotgun traps turrets whatever you want to call them flame turret and this is regular auto turrets and AK so this is real helpful when you're especially when you're by yourself they are pretty expensive that is uh, these are not too terrible but you can get a lot of these out of crates and stuff so it's up to you whether or not you want to spend the scrap um, this is a revolver which is the pretty pretty low tiered uh, it's the lowest tiered pistol then you got a double barrel shotgun which is pretty lethal up close and personal to somebody and this is for anti-air missile stuff right here um, then we'll go over here and look at this one Uh, this shop right here, this this snow jacket right here is very helpful. Like in our situation, being in the cold, we'll probably get one of those pretty quick. These gloves right here are the best gloves, high tier gloves. Um, when you're wearing these, you pretty much have zero. Um, you know, you still get some recoil, and you still have recoil patterns and all that with your weapons. But this right here, you you don't get any shake to the weapon hardly whatsoever. You do get some, but very very little. Um, here's the tools. Um, this is another reason we come to the outpost to farm scrap because we can get the little bit better farming tools. You'll notice right here I've got the stone pick, stone hatchet. This is the metal pick and metal hatchet, which is a next tier up from these. And then there's salvage tools, which are not for selling here. But then you go to the top tier, which is a chainsaw, which takes fuel to run. And here's the jackhammer. That's the best tool in the game. That's for farming the, the sulfur, metal, and stone nodes. Uh, it's very quick and very efficient. It's very much worth the 150. Um, now we'll move on. We'll go through over here. This is back to where we came from just now. Um, there's some stuff here that we'll be using while we're over here. This is called a research bench. Oh, somebody left us a research. Look at that. So you come here and you just never know what you find. So what this basically is, is people put scrap in here, then they put an item in here. And it researches that item, right? And then what you do is you take that item. You can leave it in there and learn it, but we're going to pull it right here. So that's a blueprint right there. Um, that's what's called a reinforced glass window blueprint. So we're going to learn this blueprint. And just real quick, I'll show you items build we don't we don't know how to make that now um so now let's go back to our inventory go back to it we're going to learn it now we go back to that and there it is now we learned how to make it. it takes a workbench level one and these are very very good items to have in while you're building and stuff um, another area over here is the water catch this is a small water catch you can come here and drink water which replenishes your thirst this over here is a barbecue grill. You can cook food in here. There's charcoal there. You can also sit in these chairs, and it gives you a, a bunch of comfort. I think it's 100%. But you can sit here in these chairs, and it'll give you, yeah, 100% comfort, which will, if you're not 100% health, it'll make you 100% health. So that's a good way to do that. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our little base that we built up here. Take this wood up there. Also, other players can't really loot you, your body. Like, if they kill you out here, they can't come loot you because the turrets will kill them. Um, I don't know that other people can loot you, to be honest with you. I do hear the helicopter coming, so we're going to have to try to do this really quick here and get us some scrap together but i just want to give you the concept we're not going to sit here and do a bunch of stuff and it is good that we already had that blueprint in the in that one location before that way we already know how to do it but you could ultimately you could take all this wood and take it back up to your base um, where you are now look at these stacks normally wood stacks in a thousand so like if we pull that over here it's only gonna be a thousand it's gonna leave 500 here right so 
the way to do this to keep your stacks 2,000, 4,500, 2,000, 3,000, and all that good stuff, just take an item like, say, this building plan right here, right? You set it right here where you want your wood to go. You drop it on your wood, and it pulls the whole stack over. And you just rinse and repeat with that. And it just saves you more inventory space, more inventory room in your boxes, um, things like that. It's just a little helpful tip to give to you. Um, we'll go ahead and put that stone in here. And hopefully we won't be too cold because of the helicopter. We are going to put this in there and we're going to go farm some scrap real quick. Hopefully the helicopter will kind of stay away from us. Um, because we are going to be in the cold area, which means it's going to be a little difficult with the helicopter out. Let's see what's the most warm. As soon as we get enough for a coat, we can go get a coat and put it on. We should be fine. Okay, so... That's seven cold. That's eight cold. So that's one item we're going to take off. That's seven cold. That's seven cold. So I guess we're going to do that. Um, yeah, there's a big base there. Um, when you're farming scrap out on the roads, the, the, other than other players, the main thing you want to watch out for is um, scientists. So scientists will come up here. You just want to stay moving when you're looting this stuff. Uh, never want to stand still. You stand still and you get shot easily. But if you'll notice things are falling out of these barrels, you can go to this box. Remember the right click thing? We're right clicking, pulling stuff out of that box. Now that trash pile will disappear and another one will appear to replace it. You know, at another location or another spot or whatever. Um, we're staying good on cold so we'll go ahead and keep our clothing situation like it is mm, there's food water that's rad pills i'll tell you what well i'll get it if it's still there when we come back another good way to get these barrels is uh, crossbow so you shoot these crossbows into these barrels, shoot the arrow from a crossbow into the barrels and they break with one hit. Um, so it just makes it quicker. Um, I'm using a spear because, you know, if it breaks it or hurts it, it won't really matter. And so... Yeah, there's a wetsuit. Maybe that'll, that'll give us good... Uh, Good protection. Okay. Make sure that horse is not running from another player. That's that's what you want to watch out for. I don't see anybody. Okay, so we're over here at the recycler now. Um, just to save time, the heli's out cold weather and all that good stuff so we don't have a lot we just got a few things off that but what a lot of players do a lot of times they'll just take everything they have and they find and they'll take it back to their base and they'll keep it well we don't really want to do that right now we want to recycle everything that we have so all this stuff right here we want to recycle to begin with because we have no blueprints yeah, these things are good later on to craft things with. You know, this right here used to craft. Uh, it's a semi-automatic body, which is used to help craft weapons and stuff like that. But for now, because we need scrap, and while you're here, just so you know, if you're standing right here and you have this open, another player can jump on your head from the other side, which pushes you out of the recycler, and then they can get your stuff in there. So honestly... 
just be careful of that be cautious of that there's nobody here right now so but this right here is a fuse that helps you do the puzzle systems and the monuments but again we're going to recycle everything we have because it's going to give us stuff here in the output area um, we want to keep the rope because that'll help us make wooden armor and stuff you'll notice that gave us 20 scrap right off the top not much scrap from that but you get a little bit of metal frags this is what it looks metal ore looks like after it's been cooked in a furnace and this is what the high quality metal looks like after it's been cooked in a furnace so we'll take this out this out this 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 so just out of those few little things that's what we got and that's the main thing right there we're looking for is the scrap so we're going to head back to this little base real quick And again, this is this is mainly like I said, this is for new players. So this is not a real fast way to, to get scrap, um, or I should say, not a lucrative way to get scrap. But it, it is a very fast way. Um, also, you're not losing as many things, you know, at one time. Um, you're not out of the monument. You don't have much to protect yourself. So this is just a just a good simple way to gather the scrap you need to to build your blueprints up especially for the main tools and gear and clothing, things like that that you need pretty quick. And when you come back, like I said, you can just put, put this stuff in here. Also keep your scrap in there, like so. Now we got 74. Um, which is not a huge amount, uh, by no means, but let's see what we can wear with this. I think that's all we can wear with. That's pretty good though. It's good cold protection too. And we're just starting out, so that's good. We want to keep that water too. Well, we didn't drink it, but let's put it right here. And uh, we also want to keep the rope because with the wood... We can craft wooden armor from our clothing area without a workbench, and it's not a blueprint, so we can craft that. So we got wooden armor pants. You see the protection it gives here. We're going to go ahead and craft that up. Um, go ahead and put the rope down here. Bone knife, I keep it too because you can farm barrels with that. It's real easy. It's, not, it's real cheap to make. Um, so if it breaks it, you know, it's it's no big deal. So that's what I used to, when I first start out to farm stuff with. Uh, bone club, that's always good too. Um, things like that. Um, also, the other thing I was going to show you right off the bat is this right here. So we need metal frags and two rope. That's the other reason you keep rope, because you can make a crossbow, which is, you know, an upgrade from the regular bow. Uh, it does shoot a little different. We'll go ahead and make one. I think we have enough cloth. Maybe we don't. Let's see. Or how much was that? No, oh, frags. I'm sorry. So frags, not cloth. That's the bow. So we got that. Now we're going to craft a crossbow. Oh, wait. We do need a level one. But that's fine because we can take 200 wood, 75 frags, and two rope. Um, we can take it down to that workbench, which is what we're going to do now. We're going to take pretty much what we need that's hard to get that 200 uh, let's go ahead and put our wooden armor on I just see our protection we have now it's not great but it'll do um, I think it was 75 frags we'll take that I think it's one rope I think let's see uh, two rope so you can hold your middle mouse button, and that actually splits that in half. Always halves things, so it's a nice little way to gather stuff up that way too. Let's put the frags back. This will be the last thing we do on this video, but it's just it's just trying to help you get um, you know more tools, better your progress, uh, a little bit better weapon. You can hold uh, your alt key 
And that's how you turn and look back if you, by holding down Alt when you're running forward. I might have turned around now. Okay. Um, but holding Alt is makes it where you turn and look back behind yourself as you're running. See if anybody's behind you or chasing you. Or when you run out your door, see if anybody's standing around your door or something like that after you run by. See if we have enough rad protection to go in here. These things have pretty strong radiation. We do. So we'll take this. A little bit of lag. While we're here, we'll go ahead and... Whoop. Okay, yeah, we gotta be quick. Okay, so we almost got caught on that. You can get a rock, honestly. You can bring a rock in here to to break those barrels with. Um, and you won't be on the outpost's radar, basically. You won't have to worry about getting that safe zone time timer and then you can farm those barrels within that area which is real good so the workbench one that I showed you guys earlier and girls um, when you come up to these workbenches over here so you're standing within range you'll notice down here in the bottom right corner um, you'll see where it says workbench level one um, we're standing next to it so we hit our Q for our crafting. We go to our crossbow. It requires a workbench level one. And we hit craft. That took all of our stuff that we needed to craft it. Uh, but now we're going to have a crossbow, which is a lot better. And then while we're here, um, these are road signs, which that's used for crafting like uh, armor, like chest armor and leg armor, which is an upgrade for like this wooden armor and this hide uh poncho and stuff like that it's just an upgrade from that but remember what i said when you first start out you uh you want to pretty much just uh recycle everything you get i, I think the recycler's back here yeah it is um so our crossbow's crafted you don't have to stay standing in front of that workbench you just have to be in front of it to craft so yeah there's our crossbow which we'll just put it right there for now put these in there we're gonna put it in that slot right there so it just gives you a little metal a little little scrap these fuses are great because they give you 20 scrap per fuse and that's just that's great that'll help help you out a whole lot also there's uh, here's what's called a workbench so you can come in here and use these if you have skins for stuff, which I don't have a skin for this, but you could use it to skin this weapon if you wanted to, or your clothing and stuff. You can also use this to repair. It's called a repair bench. But pretty much in this outpost is everything you need when you first start out. So it's easier just to use theirs than until you can craft your own. That way you can do everything with inside your base a lot quicker. But we're going to run back over here real quick when we get out of the safe zone. Uh, I'll show you just real quick on the crossbow. A couple of things and then we are going to call it on part two. Alright, so we bring up the uh, crossbow and R on your keyboard reloads your crossbow. So it takes a little time reloading it, but then it's ready to fire. And just right at the tip of the arrow is where you want to aim. There is, you know, drop with the arrow itself. So if you're back a good distance, you want to aim a little higher. Uh, but hit R to reload it each time. And so we're good on that. And so we'll go ahead and stack this stuff with our other stuff. And you'll notice already we've got 116 scrap. Um... And what we're going to do in the next few videos is going to teach you how to craft some different things um, to make this base a little more efficient so you don't have to run to the outpost each time, um, except to use the recycler, of course. Um, the recycler is very important. I'll give you the locations of where they have recyclers. Of course, they have one here at the outpost. They have a recycler at the launch site. They have a recycler at the power plant. Um... And 
and satellites has a recycler. Um, you could technically just farm this road barrel and boxes all the way down, get close to satellites and run in here and do all your recycling, then run back, farm in your barrels again. And then when you get back to your outpost, recycle everything, go back to your base, you know, different things like that. Uh, the bandit camp, I don't think, has a recycler. The junkyard has a recycler. Train yard has one. Most of your big ones, sewer branch has one, but it's down inside. Well, no, they have actually two, one down inside the puzzle and then one outside. Water treatment, that's probably the best beginner um, location, and we'll get to that in the future. This has a recycler. All the, Most all these monuments are these uh, gas stations and supermarkets, mining outposts and stuff like that. They all have recyclers, too. Um but um, we'll get all that in future videos. And so I just want to take this time to tell everybody I appreciate your support. I appreciate you uh, taking a look at these videos. Uh, and I hope they help. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and it helped you out. And we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.